All right, good morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. I know it's later than I normally do um, the Jay's morning coffee, but what happened was it's Friday. I had a class to teach, and then I knew I was going to need some recovery time because I'm old. And so what I did was we extended it to about um, 10 o'clock. And so she's coming in. Um, hey, Portia, how are you? So I just spoke with her, and um, she's doing a few things, and she's going to pop in going to get to ask the wellness coach the questions that we need to know on why we should detox, why we should cleanse, there's it why there's both, or should we be at the same time, how much water, etc. How's everybody doing this morning? How is everybody doing this morning? I took my braids out, y'all. So I'm going to be washing my hair and uh, learn not to take this out. Now let me tell you this. Um, nutrition plays the factor, a huge factor, not only in um, your overall health, but in your skin. And um, I am not the best person to, uh, to promote the good, healthy eating all the time, etc. Because I I eat bad food. So what I do to counter that is I. Maybe but if I ate healthy, I wouldn't necessarily have to do all of that cleansing, I don't think. So we're going to see what she said. Um, remember that the verses that we are coming out of is First Peter 1 and 22. And it says, you were cleansed from your sins and you obey the truth. So now you show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all your heart. And so are we obeying the truth? Um, I think that we're going to learn some truth today, some knowledge today, some wisdom today. And we don't want to perish. We don't want our bodies to perish for lack of knowledge. A lot of times we um, are taking care of our bodies, we're eating unhealthy things, and then we end up going to the doctor and we're put on different medication. And those are toxic, and we don't even drink enough water to counter amount of toxins that are coming into our body. And slowly but surely our body can only take so many. And then our body shakes and starts shutting down. Functioning starts shutting down. Liver function. Is there a working overtime trying to filter out all of the toxins that you have in your body? And um, so we've got to do better. We've got to do better with taking knowledge in and I will be taking up good stuff all of the bad stuff. Who's watching? Talk to me. Hey. Um, if anything, watch the replay. I'm hoping that she pops in here. We just thought now that she's um um besides that, um we do have an art exhibit coming up. We're gonna tell them how we're coming soon. Uh, the tickets are always going and um, uh, Anyways, so let's talk about it. I had a class last night, and it was an awesome class, I think, that we learned a lot about our hair and the things that we would do involved. Hey, you were supposed to be there. Where were you at last night? That's what? Where are you 
you get my email, I emailed you this morning. I'm waiting for our guests to pop in. I don't want to say too much and then like counter anything that she says. She does this for a living, I don't. Can you hear me good? Anybody tell me if you can hear me good. Nobody don't say anything? Okay. All right. So back on the recap. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm glad that you popped in here because I did email you and I didn't know if anything had happened or all right and um or you just forgot so either way i completely understand and i hope you got the pdf i sent you in regards to that make sure you read it it has good information in it and i have your butter and just let me know if i need your sample if i need to get on if you want me to um i still don't see her you guys all right, so we're going to recap before she pops in. All right, so we're going to define detox. The detox is a process or period of time in which one abstains from or rates the body of toxic or unhealthy substances. Okay? Cleanse is a process or period of time during which, oh, there she is, a person attempts to rid the body of substances regarded as toxic or unhealthy, typically for a time, consuming only water or liquids. All right, we're gonna pop her in. Hey lady, how are you? Hey, good morning. Good morning, I'm excited, okay, because we need to get our lives together um, when it comes to wellness and nutrition for real. <laughs> so, yes. So go ahead and um, introduce yourself to everybody. Okay, my name is Liz Sane. I am uh, currently I'm a corporate health coach, uh, but I started off doing just health coach, personal training. Really, honestly, it started off with personal training. I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. The whole eating thing in the beginning of my career, which was over 15 years ago, I was just like, ah, uh, you know, eat good. <laughs> like we all kind of think, like we mm -hmm. know what not to eat, what to eat. And, you know, when people would ask me, I'm like, look, just, you know, everything's a balance. But mm -hmm. as I have progressed through my career, now I'm obsessed with learning about this food and our whole food world. And right. it's crazy what people think they're doing right. And really, they're not. And it's just a really big uh, mess of confusion for everyone. <laughs> you it can't is. blame anybody like for how they are at this point with their health and stuff, because it, it they have tricked us. This whole, uh, the, the, the whole food world has tricked us. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really I, confusing. So now I went from thinking, oh, you know, you just gotta work out and, and eat the right things and stay away from, now I'm kind of transitioned to where it's like, okay, it is truly 85% of what you eat that's gonna change oh, wow. your life. Oh, wow. I'm a okay. big believer in that. Now I'm still all about the workouts and this and that, but if you, you're just literally wasting your time if you can't understand about food and where it's coming from and what it's doing to you. Oh, okay. So we, I just learned something there. Okay. <laughs> I'm serious because I'm the queen of the yo-yo diet. Oh, that's, you're my people that I'll be like, oh, <laughs> I make it 14 days, literally 14 days. And then I go back, I like, I get some ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. And it just triggers a whole downhill spiral of mess. Mm -hmm. Because it's addicting. It is literally sugar is on the same lines as a drug. And that I say that jokingly, but it's not actually joking. Like it triggers certain chemicals in your body that creates, I want more, I want more. People think they might not have addictive behavior and or we joke about like, oh, I'm addicted to cookies or candy or whatever. But it literally is like you can put it along the same lines as a drug and mm -hmm. what drugs do to you harm your body. And if you are you can't think that it's just making you fat. 
sugar doesn't just make you fat. It, it comes in so many forms. And that's where I get really nitty gritty about what this um, society has tricked us into believing. But it's come in so many forms now. And it's so processed down into chemicals that it's not just something that makes you fat. It will harm your body long term. And that's where the toxins and all that stuff comes into play. What we're going to talk about today is why you want to detox, why you want to cleanse. Because it's not about being overweight. Mm, it's just about getting rid of all of the mess that's in there so that your body doesn't shut down, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen if yeah. you don't get it out. Naturally, yeah, you'll lose some weight. But if you don't understand what you're doing, that weight will come right back on. And that's why I used to tell people that detoxes and cleanses were stupid until I learned a little bit more myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> But until I really understood, like I have on my wall at my, at my, in my office, I put it, you got to understand the body before you change the body. Mm. That's the one thing I always say to people because you, you're a great example, the yo-yo dieter. Y'all go on these diets because, uh, you know, one minute, the, every diet, if you look at them, if you use your common sense, every diet is just taking one thing completely out. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So you're just, you're totally, you're shocking your body for a minute. You're taking one thing out and then you have all this other stuff. And then another diet, it changes and does the same thing. But and it makes me sad. Like, it makes me <laughs> yeah. sad. I was like, is there not a way that I can balance this out and just not deprive myself of certain things? I would think that I would be better if I could just kind of incorporate, you know, like something not healthy once in a while rather than just shocking myself and i just get sad sugar is addiction because when i say i get sad it's like a little bit of a depression comes on because i'm not getting you know the normal amounts of sugar that i've gotten for you know the last the weeks before that you know and so yeah it, it's a big problem when i do get i get sad like yes. it's <laughs> uh, well, it, it does it correlates with our hormones a whole lot so obviously anything that does that can make our emotions up and down you know sad so yes it does and the the chemical reaction that the processed sugars that we're taking in that is like a really hardcore reaction now we do need what sugar is doing it's providing um a type of carbohydrate really and what the reason why we, we do need that, and especially us women, but all people need the carbohydrates. But where our body gets confused at is that's the most simplest form for it to take in, mm. where it it's immediate and then it's that crash and that's the depression and the yeah. the slug and sluggish feeling and all that. But we do need another form of that, but we need like an actual whole food form that comes with the nutrients. There's no nutrients in actual the sugar. Mm -hmm. So when that, that comes into play, you will see like when you do a cleanse, you do a detox, your mind gets clear, you start feeling better. Mm -hmm. You'll notice you're more positive. Um, it, it really does change your whole mind frame because you're getting the right carbs in your body. Mm -hmm. instead of that sugar rush that you have that makes you feel good when you drink it in the morning or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so. No comment. All right. So, so I want you to explain to the viewers, like, what is the difference between detoxing and cleansing? Okay. So a detox is a lot more, um, it's a more hardcore cord version of cleansing, really. Um, they both are about bringing harmony and happiness to the body and bringing more nutrients into the body. So they both have that. But with a detox, typically a detox is like, okay, cleansing is like, let's bring a lot more nutrients into the body. Let's balance out the nutrients and the everything in the body. Uh, you know, obviously you're trying to eliminate the things that you don't need, but it's more of a balance of good and bad, I guess you could say. Okay. Uh, okay. Loading, loading yourself with more nutrients and healthy foods to bring harmony pretty much to the body. Okay. A detox is usually, oh, and, and that's usually based off just food, a cleanse. Okay. A okay. detox can consist of a lot of things. And so <clears throat> a detox can consist of, toxins in the air it can consist of spiritual it can consist of um your your actual 
inside organs like your liver, your kidneys. You're really concentrating to really eliminating everything that is absorbed into your body. And it's mm. not just food that's absorbed into your body. It's everything. Right. And, the, the entire environment, just your whole. OK. OK. Yes. And now you can go specifically with just one. Like some people say, I'm just going to do a kidney detox and uh, cater to just that or just a spiritual detox. But mm -hmm. it's things that absorb into you and attack those parts of you where it's mental, emotional, um, physical. And so with the detox, people usually go a little more hardcore mm -hmm. um, with eliminating things. And it doesn't last as long. Mm -hmm. With a clean, like a the longest you'll do a detox is you know five to seven days. As long as you should do a detox, I should say. Okay. People do, who knows what. But the the <laughs> cleansing, you can do that up one to three months. And that cleansing, what I tell my clients is more like doing just a whole food diet, just, okay. just straight up whole food diet. What I have done is I've kind of mixed the two. Okay, all right, because. Once again, I was just like, I see these people doing the detox. And like I said, it's more hardcore. And typically people just do the whole juicing thing. Right. Juicing or water and lemon, you know, diet. Or I've heard somebody do it. Cranberry and cranberry um, yeah. juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I see them do that. And it does have benefits. I don't think you should do it for too long. Okay. But it has benefits. But where 99.9 .9 people go wrong is you're actually hurting your body more by by just going hardcore like shocking the heck out of your body for two days and and then literally they go right off of that and go right back into eating back where they were and so actually it does more harm than good when you're doing that to your body it's just like an extreme form of yo-yo dieting like you're hey. confusing the heck out of your body so it's like your body survives off so many calories a day it has to have those in order for your insides to even function if you don't have a certain amount of calories your liver's not going to, you know, your body's not going to detox naturally because it does naturally detox. It's not going to pump the blood like it should. It's not going to, you're not going to breathe as good as you should. Like all the I, I, the thing I talk about with my clients, um, I have an analogy where I say, if you pretend like you, those old little factory looking wheels that have the little jagged edges and they all go together. Mm -hmm. I, don't I, I don't know what they're called, but I always have it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Pretend like you have a whole bunch of them that connect inside your intestines, right? Okay. And let's say we're just, we went from eating, I don't know, 1200 calories of whatever mm -hmm. to eating 600 calories one day or no calories, like people that starve themselves for two days. Your body just stops. It's like the computer doesn't turn on. So this wheel can't turn to make this wheel turn on. And if this one doesn't turn on, like slowly your system starts shutting down. And that's not a good, that's not a good thing because to get it to reboot back up again, it's going to, it's going to be really hard on the body, but also it's lacking so many things that it's, it's, <clears throat> It, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's it's lacking the things it needs to make the factory work inside. And right. if this factory isn't working, you're not living. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like, you should see my, I mean, I know you see my face, but I'm just like, I have ruined my whole life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking my green tea right now. <laughs> okay. But I promise y'all this isn't coffee and cream. Um, but no, so with my clients, this is pretty interesting. I found out in my own career, like I'm, I learn every year. Like I said, I started off with just training and I went into this nutrition thing and now I'm obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've been doing it for a long time, work with so many people. And it's always interesting to see the difference between women and men and the age groups and where people have come from. The biggest thing I have found in the last couple of years is People that have yo-yo dotted, they start pretty young and they go on for years. And what yes. happens is when I finally get them eating correctly, first of all, they're like, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm eating way too much. They're like, this is hard. It's funny to hear people say it's hard to eat, but it's like actually hard for them to eat because they were they were starving their body in so many ways. But what's happened is their body has functioned in a without all the wheels turning for so long. Uh -huh. When I get them back into alignment of eating what they need to eat to make everything flow, it takes them a lot longer for their body to respond to losing weight, to feeling better than someone that just didn't ever do the yo-yo dieting thing. 
Wow. And it took me years to figure this out. And I finally figured out it's, 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 it's a pattern. The people that has done the extreme yoga dining for, if you've done it for five years, at least you're going to respond a lot slower than someone else that just has not done that before. Like just say it's someone that just ate whatever they wanted their whole life. They gained weight, but they never went on any extreme diets. They're going to actually get results quicker than you because you have, you have messed your system up. I don't know. Cry. <laughs> There is, hope. there is hope, I promise. But I want you to know that because I want people to understand, stop doing that. Stop okay. doing because everything is a balance in life. And um, we know that, but you really got to understand that. And you really got to do that. Uh, the the extreme dieting, it confuses the heck out of your body. So your mm -hmm. body, Jamie, your body does this. One day it knows it's getting 900 calories. The next day it's getting 1500 calories. The next day it's getting 300 calories. And I track people's stuff. First, I look at how much in, in calories are called energy. Right. And, um, so I look and see how much energy they're putting in their body every day with these calories. First, I just look at that before I even see what those consist of. But when I see that it's, you know, so extreme up and down, up and down, your body does not know which wheels it can turn because it doesn't know it has enough energy to turn this one because it might run out of energy and they won't be able to turn this over one. here so it gets scared like it, you yeah, know it, it's like it's like i'm just not going to move i'm just not going to move because i don't know what she's going to what kind of gas she's going to give me every day so i'm just going to hold on to this wheel and just let this one turn i'm going to keep these off because she might not give me enough gas today to work the rest of my system so you're saying i'm unpredictable and i'm not consistent <laughs> We all are. Yeah, and my body knows. <laughs> but the thing is, you you got to get it back all functioning. And, you know, later on, I'll look and see what are you actually, what kind of calories are you putting in your diet? Yes, that's that's the big important thing. But first, you just got to get your body back flowing again. You got to stop confusing it. Um, so with this mix I did, the seats the season I, I like to do seasonal detoxes okay. so i think you asked me or i think me mm -hmm. talked about it today or yesterday about when and why do you do detoxes and cleanses yes. i think that you should do them seasonal and the reason is your foods that you get at the store let's i like to use strawberries as an example mm -hmm. strawberries are like um as you notice they have no flavor right now <laughs> We keep buying them, but they they don't have any flavor because they're not in season. Right. And yes, you can get them from other countries and stuff, but for the most part, they're not in season. And when they're not in season, they don't hold as much nutrients. So right. yeah, we can get them and we can eat them and it's still good. Like I had some this morning and that's definitely better than me eating some bread or pancakes, but to oh, get have my carbs. Meat. But it doesn't have as much <laughs> nutrients. I love that on my Saturday mornings too. But it doesn't have as much nutrients. So your goal when you go, if you do a seasonal detox, is to to bring your body as much nutrients as you can. And how do you do that in this world of processed foods and all that, right? Mm -hmm. You do it by eating your seasonal foods because those are going to give you more nutrients than any other food out there right now. So mm. if I went and I just did like a cleanse and it was all about fruit and all this stuff, what fruits in season right now that I'm going to get the most nutrients. Otherwise I'm just eating a bunch of empty calories and that's not right. a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. If I'm trying to load my body full of nutrients. Got it. That, that makes sense. Like, and I never thought of it like that, but that makes a whole lot of sense. And the strawberries do taste bad right now. My nephew told me, he said, <laughs> I don't like this. This is not, you bought yeah. bad strawberries. So they're not, they're not <laughs> holding their nutrients. So that's one reason why I do seasonal. The other reason is, of obvious reasons seasonal the environment mm -hmm. you got different your your body is absorbing water differently uh you're getting more dried out in certain seasons you're dehydrating more in certain seasons um so you got to know like what kind of things do i need for my body right now that's going to hydrate my body it's going to keep my body flowing is my body more hydrated right now or is it more dried up and 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 losing hydration so you 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 need to know what season your how your body's reacting to that season so you can give it what it needs for just that season. Um, another water thing, intake. What what do you suggest water intake wise? Because a lot of people don't like to drink water. So what? The easiest thing you can do. I don't know. 
Like, I, do, I drink lots of water, except for when the season changes. When initially we go from summer to fall, it's almost like I go through like this two weeks where I don't want any water mm. because like it's cold and I just, if my body goes, what do you need to drink that for? And it's weird, but it's every time around the same week, like same time of the year, and that's like two weeks of a withdrawal from drinking. You know, that's actually normal. And I have to actually remind people when we go through season changes, how much that water is still important because once again, your body's reacting to an environment change. Okay. Um, it's going from getting sunlight and vitamin D to not. It's going from sweating a lot to not. Mm -hmm. And um, your body's just, I think a lot of people think in the winter you wouldn't need as much water, but you're actually kind of, the way I put things is like you're drying up inside, mm -hmm. you know, like you feel dry. You just notice it in your skin. Um, it's also because of we're walking in and out of heat and cold and heat and cold. Right. And that, all that stuff affects us. And that skin absorbs every little bit of water you have. And you're putting less water naturally in because you're not sweating much. You're not, your body doesn't want it as much because it's not coming out the pores as much as it was. It. You don't feel the high but you really are because your body's pulling every bit of, of water that's in you, especially your skin, because of the contrast of hot, cold, hot, cold, going in the hot temperatures in your house, going out cold. And okay. so it's trying to pull that in. <clears throat> but so I, just learned, I just learned something. Like I had no clue that 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 ha is happening. I know that it, you see the results of what you're talking about, but I didn't understand the science in that, which you, it's really amazing. <laughs> I guess the question is what the question you would say is, well, I don't want water for two weeks. And that's cool. I mean, at least you are aware of your body and you know that. Mm -hmm. So you say, what do I do in place of this? So <clears throat> a thing I'll tell people, people to do when we're going through that change and you feel like you don't really want to just go up down that water, do a juice, uh, do a add extra juices in your diet. So what I tell a lot of my clients is I'll say, uh, it may be not in place of breakfast, but along with your breakfast or after breakfast, make uh -huh. a juice full of water, like any hydrating vegetable, uh, fruits or vegetables. So um, instead of drinking your coffee or tea or whatever, try to just load up with a juice, like a like in the blender, like put common sense things that have a lot of water, watermelon, any fruits or vegetables, but you know, pineapple, you always want to throw something green and everything, but make a, uh, instead of trying to drink a lot of water every morning, like you normally would in the summer, mm -hmm. instead replace your morning time with a, um, some kind of juice that you make in the blender, just throw a bunch of berries and, and any fruits and vegetables. You can't always put something green in it, but. Okay. Um, but when you say something green, like anything green that I've ever thrown in, my juice overpowers the taste. So what do you suggest that isn't so strong that spinach, you know? is, the, spinach is the one thing. I don't know what all you're putting in yours. Kale. Yes. Kale will override it. But if you just put simply spinach in it, you don't have to go crazy with the green in your, in your morning juice. Cause I don't want a lot of greens in my morning juice, to be honest. I don't mind it in the afternoon, but just put spinach in it. That's my go-to okay. for breakfast. Cause that's about the only green that my body, other than avocado, that my body really wants in the morning. Okay. So I just put, you know, any ber berries that have tons of antioxidants, but that replaces your water, that juice drink. Because okay. think, uh, and you can tell me when I get too far off subject here, but the water, this is another thing I love to teach people. You gulping down water all day. It's good. It keeps things flowing, but that water comes right back out of you. Okay. Very little of it actually absorbs into you. The type of water that absorbs into you is the coming from your foods. So your fruits and your vegetables and even some meats have a water content. You can look, if you look it up, there will be, you say what, you know, foods have the highest water content and there'll be a list. You'll find one somewhere out there, but those kind of foods are the ones that will absorb into your skin. They absorb into your insides and they stay in you to make that body more hydrated than just regular water. You need both, but regular water all day is not going to benefit you the way you think it is. You got to get it from your foods. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, we just, I mean, I think, I, I think everybody's gonna be blown away when they when they watch this because I didn't know that. I didn't know that it's better to get your water from a food source. Mm -hmm rather than actually drinking, you know, 64 ounces 
of water a day or so, so whatever ounces let's just say instead of 64 ounces in a day which you typically were drinking why don't you cut that to like you know 30 or 40 um and in place of that do your juice in the morning make your fresh juice in the morning that's giving you more substantial water amount in your body that's going to hold than just all that water so you're still you're still balancing your body out with the correct amount of water awesome without awesome. having to just do this from the time you wake up all day you know? right because all day it just feels like it's a never-ending story yes and so all right so i see a post that you posted you were making some food i believe it looked like a soup maybe i can't remember but i do remember um <laughs> i just didn't Look at it because I knew I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> we all look at those things, but we never do them. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, but that's when I really was like, I need to get it on here. But what exactly was that, and how does that help de with your detoxing and cleansing? All right, so remember I said that I kind of, I called it a detox on my Facebook because people don't know the difference between all this stuff. But I like I said, I combined a cleansing and detox. So I'm not going so extreme that we're doing nothing but juices all for seven because okay. mine's for seven days. And what I'm doing with my clients right now is so for seven, seven days. days, but I don't want them on some juice diet in seven days. And then they're going to gain all that weight back and some more. So I mixed it with a cleanse, which what I told you about earlier is throwing mm -hmm. tons of nutrients in our body. Okay. So how did I mix it? A cleanse, like I said, is more lick. I mean, more food and a detox is more liquid. So soups are a really good mixture of the two, right? Mm -hmm. You're getting hydration, you're getting uh, good fluids through your body, but you're also getting a lot of nutrients with those vegetables and your protein and stuff you still can get. So that is a chicken herb soup. And mm -hmm. typically when you're saying, oh, I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to have a chicken noodle soup or chicken, you know, we don't really want like with this detox, we're staying away from the noodles. We're staying away from the creams and tomato, uh, canned tomato juices that, that we have because they, like I said, that's all that cream and, and the noodles and all that. That's not what our body needs. That's going to slow our body down. And we're trying to speed our body up to get all that crap out of us that's been sitting in there too long. So I mixed, I, well, I started off with this chicken broth soup and I just put a whole chicken in there. You want me to tell you how I made it? Yeah, look, I'm writing it down. <laughs> you just buy a whole chicken. You don't want it too big, but I buy a whole chicken. And okay. I cut up onions, fresh onions. I cut up fresh garlic. And um, I'm forgetting something. I, I freestyle every time I cook. I make it a different style. So I'm trying to think exactly how I made that one. It was onions, garlic, and I'm forgetting something else on the bottom. It'll, oh, and then I seasoned it with some rosemary. Oh, I didn't put okay. the salt or anything in it yet. And so I just put that in like saute those, the onion, the garlic and everything and for a little bit. And then I put my chicken on top in a big pot and I just kind of brown the edges like I let, with some olive oil. Sorry, got the olive okay. oil. Olive oil. And so I just kind of let it sit for a second and brown one side. Then I flipped it and brown the other side. And the only reason mm -hmm. I did that was just to kind of bring out the good juices um, instead of just throwing it straight in water and it just being cooked in water. Yeah. It brings yeah. out some juices and stuff. We want them juices. We got to get mm -hmm. some flavor. I like flavor. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to, everything's when you eat healthy, it has to be like flavorless. No, I mean, it's not going to be like eating Popeye's chicken, but it's going to, we got to have some flavor and your body's got to adjust to different types. But so I, I browned all sides for mm -hmm. a few minutes till you see it browning. And um, there's no particular wrong or right with that. And then once that's all browned, I fill it up with water just enough to it's like maybe half an inch or an inch over the chicken. Okay. And that is where I cooked it, depending on the chicken, but I think it took mine about an hour. Uh, you don't want to boil it because that really pulls out too much. You just want to simmer. Okay. Just simmer. Don't boil it. So you can put the lid on it, but make sure it's just simmering slow for like i said mine was about an hour you'll know when it's done because when you take the lid off if you try to like pull like just say you try to pull the chicken wings up to pull it up if that thing pulls right out and it's falling off the bone already oh it's getting good mm -hmm. so okay. you'll know if it's about done so if it's at that point where it's just falling off the bone go ahead and it's kind of hard i threw hot water over my face but get some your special whatever and you pull it out of that water and let it cool off for a minute 
And then that's where you start throwing all your herbs. Like I still grow fresh herbs in my kitchen window. We'll see how long they last, but okay. I, I don't feel like you can ever go wrong with putting which herb with what. Like I right. got fresh basil, oregano is like your, uh, that's like it for your immunity and everything. Yes. You got to have that. So your oregano, your basil, like I said, I put rosemary in early on. Okay. I didn't have any fresh rosemary, so I just sprinkled some in, but put all your herbs in there that you, I mean, any and all. And, you know, in the produce section, you can buy those little packages of like some stems of basil, some stems mm -hmm. of oregano. And this, in times like this, this is where you want your fresh herbs, not the kind you shake out the jar. You want the okay. fresh, straight up herbs. So get those and put those in there. And then vegetables. I use, I, I'm big uh, about greens. And I don't mean green beans. I mean, anything leafy and green is medicinal. It has something nothing else has, which is chlorella. And that's a whole other story. But I use bok choy. A lot of people don't cook with that a lot, but it, I love using bok choy in my soups. You can cut it up and leave it big. You can cut it up small. It just depends on how you like your soup. As you see, I left my stuff big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It just, it's got more filling, I guess, to me. I liked it like that. But you can chop it up small and just keep it more like a sipping soup. But I cut up bok choy. I put whole carrots in there, spinach in there, mushrooms in there. Um, I think I kept it kind of simple on this one. Uh, I wanted to put kale, but I didn't have any. Uh, <clears throat> I remember, but that's my main ones I had for that soup. And like I said, you put all your herbs and stuff in it. Then any additional herbs that you didn't get fresh that you want to season it up with, a little of your regular salt and pepper. I'm big about being picky about your salt. Um, there's the Himalayan salt. And I was going to say, is that, is that okay? Because that's what I got. Yes. I and there, We'll have to have another talk one day about your salts and your olive oils because, and your stevias. That's where the whole world of food has tricked us. and think We're thinking we're buying Himalayan salt and it's so processed down the ones we're getting that it's really no different than the regular water. salt. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, uh, we do what we can, right? I mean, right, we, right. It gets to a point where you're like, I'm just trying. It's better than. <laughs> right. Oh, your sound went out. Okay. There we uh, go. So, <laughs> um, so uh, I just seasoned it all up with a little salt and pepper, all that. Mm -hmm. uh, and by that time, your chicken's cooled off. Pull the skin off the chicken, debone the chicken, uh, put all that chicken back in there, and just stir it up. Just let it sit for a little while. Let all those things kind of gravitate again to each other. Like you want, you know, we want those seasons to kind of sit with the meat. So if you can let it sit for a little while, you don't have to leave it turned on very long. Maybe maybe twenty minutes longer, but just let it all kind of melt marinate yeah marinate together that word wasn't coming to me you disappeared uh, you know that well sorry i don't know why my things messed up but go ahead. <laughs> i don't know what to do so i'm just not gonna do nothing so let me ask another question oh there you are say something let's make sure you, you yeah i'm good okay you're good okay um so so i'm gonna recap seasonal detoxes make more sense do. Um, drink, I mean, make sure you check the water content in the foods that you're eating so you know how much water you're actually taking in. Is what say, I, that, say that part again. The, um, check your foods and see what the water content is with the foods that you're eating. Yes, yeah, for yes. staying hydrated. Your body for staying hydrated. hydrated. Right. Seven days is a basic cleanse slash detox. Yeah, typically that's the smartest because go back to what I said earlier in the, in the conversation was um, if we confuse our body for too long mm -hmm. and we do that a lot, um, in this case, we're loading it with nutrients, so it's going to be happy with this. But um, just you don't want to do these too long and you, and you don't because it confuses the body a little bit. If you're not familiar with how to do this, you might not be getting enough calories in. Okay. And you'll you'll kind of confuse the body. Like you'll get tons of nutrients, but you just don't want to shock your body and confuse it to know how much energy it's getting a day. You want okay. it to still, you want it to still function. Right. 
Right. So that's okay. what I would talk to somebody like me. You'd be like, okay, I want to do this, but I don't want to go into starvation mode. You know, I, I need my body to, to get the most out of it. So I guess my question, okay, so I think that you nailed everything and cover bases. And I'm, I'm looking at the comments. And people are like, what? Wow. Like everybody is just a little bit confused because we've never been taught properly everything you're saying like we've taught, taught basics to become more like of a customer than um than for us to actually know how to take care of ourselves properly does that make sense more of like we're just a consumer we're going to keep paying this person over here and we're not going to really we're going to see results but it's not going to last long because we don't know the science of the body that's, right that's right that's and why so, I say understand the body before you change it don't just mm -hmm. do because somebody told you yeah, yeah, that's amazing. You're amazing. So here's another question we have. First, I'm going to ask you, will you come back on in regards to um, like other issues? I can, talk, <laughs> y see, I can talk forever about this. So I'm all okay. Y'all just tell me and keep me on the same path because I'll go all over. <laughs> okay, because there's a couple of other things that you stated that I'm sure that I would like to elaborate on and I'll touch bases with you about those in private. But another thing I know that the ladies and the gentlemen that watch like do you do i know you do it for a company but do you do this on like personally as well too i took a break from my personal company when i started doing corporate um, okay however i just recently um i might be sharing an office with someone just it'll be small part-time because i i work long hours with the corporate um but I am going to start doing uh, just nutritional consultations or okay. well, what, what I do now, like I said, it, I can do nutritional, but I am a health coach. So I try not to focus just on one thing or other. My goal is to say, what's the balance we can put in your life to make you healthy? It's not about getting skinny or eating a certain way. It's not about going to the gym and running 20 miles a day. Right. It's what as a whole can I do to help you? So yes, I am going to start doing some consultations. Uh, I'll be limited to how many I can do in a month, but I am going okay. to start slowly doing those again. Okay. Well, all right. So when you do, would you be able to give me that information? One, because I need a health coach. Yeah. Because Two, because um, there's other people that I know for sure that need a health coach. For sure. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. okay. Because um, I just learned, I'm a little distraught because I've paid, I've paid personal trainers and, you know, different people. And I've never heard anything that you just said. Well, I was probably one of those trainers one time. That's the thing. <laughs> like I've evolved so much. I, I'm, I'm so thankful for what I've learned. It's because I've had such amazing group of i've worked with so many people and it's made me a you can read books and, and get all the certifications i've got those but that's not what made me knowledgeable it was working with so many different types of people and we are all so different you know there yeah. are some basics of life that we all do need to stick to but we're all so different and so you know like i said i was that trainer that was like all right let's go harder in the gym you're not losing weight well let's go a little harder let's do two a days you know just stay away from the sugar you know mm -hmm, common mm -hmm. sense stuff but it's so much more to that it's so much more I, i'm shocked so i want you to end with like what tips for this season if they decide to do a seven day plan what do you suggest them to do um to achieve good results and not shock their body the way that we've been doing. Okay, number one tip, do not starve yourself. <laughs> like, don't, <Okay. laughs> just, don't just not wake up and not eat for a couple days and think I'll just have a salad um, and some fruit. Stop okay. doing that. Because your body has to consist of three things, proteins, carbs, and good fats. I'm not going to go in detail because we don't really truly know what those are anymore. But that's like you said, another day. But yeah, because you we're going to go deep. Your body. <laughs> okay. If you're just eating a salad every day and that's it. Your body is not going to turn on. The wheels aren't going to turn on. If the wheels don't turn on, you're not going to lose weight. You're not going to feel better, period. So don't starve yourself. Okay. Go Google. You know, I don't have the information to give you in hand right this second, but go Google say what foods are in season. All right. Go eat more of those foods. <laughs> now, and when I say foods, 
obviously in season means something that grows. That means it's whole food. And a lot of y'all don't know what the heck to do with whole food. Y'all just, if it ain't in a box or coming up through a drive through you don't know what to do. It is the simplest thing, y'all. I felt some simple. type of way when you said that. <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, because people, I, I, the funniest thing I heard from one of my clients last, last year, she said, we were doing a whole food challenge. She said, Liz, I, um, I got the, um, veggie noodles uh, is some, something in the freezer section or something. And they're called veggie noodles they're made from hundred percent vegetables. And she goes, that's whole food. Right. And I, it was the funniest <laughs> thing ever to me because I, this is what I say to people. I said, does it grow on a vine? Does it grow on a tree? Does it come out the ground? I said, she goes, yeah, there are vegetables. No, does that actual noodle grow? Do you see noodles coming from a tree? No, well then it's not whole, it's been processed. And in order for it to be processed and turned into that, you have to put all these other things in it. So, so um, whole food means obviously what I just said. And so when you look up the things that are in season, and replace your other things with that. If you're eating a potato every night, replace mm -hmm. it with a squash or something that's in season. Okay. okay? And you're going to you're going to be even if you're not eating perfect, you're giving your body more nutrients. And that would be my biggest goal for y'all is maybe not focus so much on eating perfect. You know what you don't need to eat. Stay away from the sugar drinks and the cakes and the cookies and the candies today. Uh, candies are in the, my store. I told my clients yesterday, I said, candies are in the store all year long. There's nothing special about them today, <laughs> but <laughs> try to um, focus on just first focus on putting more nutrients in your body. So even if you did have that cookie or the cake, what did you, what was the balance of your food levels of nutrients that day? Did you have greens in the morning? Did you have some type of greens at your lunch? Um, put more nutrients in your body. That's the biggest tip I could give you right now. We'll focus okay. on eliminating the other stuff later. Let's give your body good, good nutrients to okay. flourish on. So don't starve yourself more nutrients and more nutrients in season. Uh, as you said earlier, keep hydrating your body. Okay. I think half of us or more are dehydrated every season. Uh, your body has to, it has to have that to function and you get that through your food, which is fruits and vegetables. And you get that through, um, you know, naturally your water and stuff. Perfect. So I'm going to let you know the comments said, uh, yeah, I, can't lady said I know you can't see it, but the lady <laughs> said the evolution of your profession. Thank you so much for putting in your time. So thank you. one of the audience members said, thank you. And thank you. the ladies thoroughly enjoyed all of the knowledge that you have given us because we are now have to have you back because yes, thank you. I love we've you. got to go in depth with this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this oh, is too good I'm happy to do this. I'm so thankful that y'all watched and y'all are trying to change. Like it's not about perfection, just learning. Like we know this, this is, this is about life period. This is about right. the current world we have today. It's knowledge. Get right. your knowledge and you will grow in every way. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to tell them how they can reach out to you or. Yes. Um, I guess the best way uh, right now, uh, my website is being recreated and all that. So I would say my social media. Okay. Uh, if you are an Instagram user, you just go to insane to train and that's in in as a Nancy S. Okay. A I N the number two T R A I N. So insane to train my last name saying, so I'm not that crazy y'all, but <laughs> insane to train, um, is my email, uh, my Instagram, my IG. If you were on Facebook, you would go to, um, uh, I have two, but I'll just tell you go to my personal one for now. until I get the other one going better. It's just Elizabeth saying, and you spell my name with S E L I S A B E T H S A I N. So that's my Facebook. And you can just send me a direct message on one of those. Social medias is the best. Um, I'll be happy to help you if, you know, um, you can watch. I post a lot about food. I've been slacking on my exercise uh, programs and stuff on there. But every now and then I'll do like a challenge where we wake up on Saturday mornings and do some yeah. exercises. Okay, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> but I think I got it. So uh, M same S A I N to train, right? Did you spell it with the N as in Nancy? M as in Mary? No, N as in Nancy. Got it. Okay. N S A I N, the number two T R A I N. 
All right, hold on, you guys. Bear with me, okay? Just think of insane in the membrane. <laughs> you sound like you're hard on people. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? No, no, the funny thing is my company name is Insane to Train. And then you would think that I'm some psycho Jillian Michaels trainer, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> realistic. I'm, I've had a lot of trainers tell me I'm not hardcore enough for them, you know, compared to them. But my biggest thing I've learned as a trainer is being realistic. Do I eat donuts? Yes. Do I eat pizza? Mm hmm. But like, that right. Look at it. Huh? huh? Did I get it yeah, right? Or something? Insane to train on IG. Yep. Okay. Uh, perfect. Facebook, Facebook's just my whole name and for people that don't have IG. But yes, I'll be happy. Y'all just tell me what subject you want to talk about. I got y'all. I'm so excited. I'm going to reach out to you uh, probably later on today and then let you know what's next because I, um, I'm i floored. Like now I've got to go make the soup though. <laughs> well, uh, that <laughs> soup, I can send you a recipe, but it, like I said, I freestyle it every time and diff with different vegetables and herbs and stuff. But I will be, I'll be honest with you. If you're used to eating more processed foods, you're not going to get some big robust flavor. Okay. okay. You're going to, it's going to taste clean. If you know how to use your herbs right, you will see that you'll start adapting to that and liking that more than mm -hmm. your salts and seasonal salts and all that. But don't be on with herbs. You can you can be heavy handed with your herbs. Oh, okay. them, not all of them. Like rosemary is very strong, but you can be pretty heavy handed with your herbs because you're not going to be throwing a bunch of salt and peppers and seasonal salts and stuff like that. That's the stuff you got to be light with. Right. But right. With herbs. Bring the flavor, you know, you can't go wrong. They have so much medicinal use to them. So, okay. uh, but don't expect to have like some bam, just let it, let your body learn, adapt to different taste buds. Okay. I'm going to try. Watch, wait, wait till you become my um, coach. You're going to be like, you know what? <laughs> but I will say before I leave, I just want to say people get super, super overwhelmed. I know I probably went all around everything and, and talked about more than I probably should have. And my clients leave my office with like tears in their eyes because they feel like they've just done everything wrong and and they feel overwhelmed. And um, that is really natural. If you feel like that during while I was talking to y'all, you're not the only one. I literally have people leave my office because they feel like they've been doing right and they haven't and they're overwhelmed mm -hmm. and it's too much to think about and they just like fudge it. <laughs> you know? Yep. And I get it. I get it. My mom does it to me all the time. She gets so overwhelmed when I try to help her. But all I want to say is Take two things I said today. Forget everything else. Take two things. It's probably those last two tips I told you. Mm -hmm. Focus on that and focus on consistency. Your body, consistency. your body mm -hmm. evolves off the consistency you give it. So wow. just focus on two things. If you can make that part of your daily habit, like brushing your teeth, you're better off than trying to do everything I just said. Wow. You still got the cupcakes coming in. <laughs> or the pizzas. Just focus on two things and make okay. it a habit. And make it a habit. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm really so thank So I'm going to drop you out and then I'm going to finish and let them uh, know that I'm done for the day. But I cannot believe I, I'm reaching out to you. Like, I want to be one of your first clients. Just know that. Okay. okay. And I mean that. I'm, I'm so serious. Okay. I got you. I got you. You call me later. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys. I hope that that was super informative. I hope that you got all of the knowledge um, and wisdom from her. We are definitely going to have Miss Dane back because I, I'm actually shocked. Like I'm, I'm floored. Like I'm going to be getting off of here and having a self talk with myself. I hope that you guys like her on Instagram. Um, this is her Instagram name. So make sure you write it down. It's in the comments. The first one I did is wrong, so I'm going to delete that one after I get off. And then her name here on Facebook. So please check her out. Reach out to her if you have any questions. And just realize that although we may have been doing it wrong, guess what's going to happen? We're going to end up doing it right. So everybody have a happy Saturday. I love you guys. If you haven't watched it, watch the replay and get the knowledge you need. All right? All right.